digital marketing is like uh, driving a boat on the open sea. You need to understand what direction to go. So I give you with all my team all the best strategies to succeed and to go the right direction. Join us on the most exciting journey of discovering how great you are. Unlock your potential and become digital marketing expert. My name is Tom. I have been awarded by Internet Efficiency Award and also awarded for teaching blind people. And I'm so happy to welcome you to my new course that will help you to reach fantastic success in digital marketing. Introduction to Copywriting. Hi, I'm Beck Robertson. I'm an NCTJ qualified journalist and copywriter with over 10 years experience. And I've also got over seven years sales and marketing hands-on experience. I've been asked to sum up everything I know about the art of creating great content for this guide to mastering copywriting, so you can use it to quickly start winning more signups and sales. I know many marketers wonder if copywriting is still relevant, as we live in an age where video, visual, and podcast content are the most shared mediums. Yet, copywriting is still so vital, as it has the power to improve nearly every aspect of your marketing. If you know how to write content that grabs people from the start, you can raise your game and boost customer engagement massively. So, how can mastering the art of copywriting benefit you? From your sales pages to your press releases, video scripts, blog post headlines, meta descriptions, and email campaigns, to your Facebook posts and press releases, knowing how to create great copy will help your marketing efforts enormously. When you learn how to do it right, you'll be able to get higher conversion rates on key pages, improve the structure of your blogs, get more engagement on social media, and have many more people share your content. Most importantly of all, you'll be able to understand your customers' needs, which will help you connect with your target audience much better. To create truly great copy, you first need to know your audience. You must understand what drives them, their hopes, dreams, thoughts, fears, and desires. Once you have this knowledge, you'll be able to write copy that immediately connects with the people you're trying to reach because you'll be speaking their language. This will make all your content 100% more effective and you'll find it easier to be able to get people to take the action you want. Knowing how to write good copy is an essential marketing skill that will help you boost your reach, sell more, and get more customer engagement. It will also make you more enjoyable. According to the National Association of Colleges and Employers, 73% of employers want to hire people with strong writing skills. To become a master at the art of creating copy, you need to nail down some fundamentals. I'm going to go into more detail on the magic formula you can use to guarantee great copy for all your content in a bit. But first, I want to give you my top tips to optimize your copy. I'll be covering some of these points in a little more depth later. Top 10 tips to becoming a master copywriter. 1. Know your market. To sell more, you need to understand what your customer wants. And to do this, you need to conduct customer research into your target market. I'll outline two excellent techniques you can use to do this later. 2. Be clear. People have to be able to understand you or you will lose them quickly. So good sentence structure is vital. Be brief and don't waffle on endlessly or use long and complicated words when shorter ones would do. The Associated Press Institute conducted a survey which found people had 711% better comprehension when reading shorter sentences. Three. Get seen. To do this, you must get found, either on search or through social media. That means you must know how to use CEO correctly, so you can optimize all your content for search engines. You must also understand the importance of hashtags and how to use the most relevant tags to boost all your content on social and on the web. 4. Be understandable. Make sure your grammar and spelling is top-notch. 
which is easy to do these days as there are many great tools out there that can assist you with this aspect. Five, be persuasive, never pushy. You must learn how to write in a persuasive but not pushy way, as if you come on too strong, you will look desperate. Desperation is the ultimate turnoff if you are trying to sell something. Six, don't be boring. People have limited attention spans, especially online. So you need to grab their attention from the get-go with punchy sentences that will make them want to keep reading. Use a mix of short and long sentences, ask questions, and drop fun facts. Seven, be original. There is far too much choice out there and an ocean of content. So you need to make yours stand out in a good way. A great way of doing this is by adding value. And you can do this by telling people something they didn't know or making them think about things in a different way. Eight, structure your content. Content structure is also key. No one wants to read through a jumbled, disorganized mess. Use engaging headers and subheaders to divide your content into bite-sized sections that are easy on the eye and easy to understand. Make use of numbered lists where possible, as these are a superb way of adding structure to your copy. Nine, learn what works and what doesn't. You can do this by observing your competitors. So look at successful brands to assess where they are going right in their content marketing. Then see how you can incorporate their approach into your own content or even improve on it. 10, stay relevant. It's no good using ad techniques that might have been effective in 2016, but aren't working so well anymore. You need to know what makes customers click through or sign up now. So make sure your approach is fresh and current and that you're not just relying on old, out-of-date strategies. Speak your customer's language. Speak to your customers in a language they can understand. An excellent resource for helping you do this as you start out on your copywriting journey is Reddit, where you can find millions of threads written by people from all walks of life. It's a great place to find out what makes different types of customers tick and why, from working professionals to stay-at-home parents to students and retirees. You can go really niche, finding special interest forums on everything from rock music to pets so you can see how people with an interest in these subjects really think, talk, and speak. Amazon reviews can also help you understand your target market's needs by observing how customers describe the products they love and noting what they don't like. You can angle your copy to hit their pain points and outline the solutions they require. The best thing of all about Amazon reviews is that they show you how customers actually talk about products. It's smart to implement this approach in your copy, so you can then connect with people in a language they will understand. So go on Amazon, look up the products in your niche, and see what others are saying. See what brands that perform well are doing right, and see what brands that receive bad reviews aren't doing. This is truly invaluable market research that you can conduct right now from your computer or smartphone, and it will help you greatly as you'll then know how to write for your market. Why you must master CEO. CEO is a fundamental part of copywriting and an essential skill you must master if you want to sell more or gain more clients. From website meta descriptions to optimizing your content so it ranks higher and gets you found, you should be constantly learning about ways to enhance your copy for the search engines so they will score you highly. There are some tools you can use that will help you find the most relevant keywords for your niche. Google Keyword Planner and Google Trends are just two of the tools you can use to track keywords. But remember, don't make the mistake of plumping for a more general term that appears to rank higher, because in the long run, using more targeted keywords will serve you better. What do I mean? Well, for example, if you Google the most searched keyword, the term real estate is currently ranking at the top. Now, if you have a real estate business, you might think, great, so I'll use the highest scoring keyword, and that way my site or my content will score highly too. But wait, imagine how many other people are using that keyword. Hundreds of thousands of people with billions of content all using that term mean it's going to be incredibly hard for your page to get found. So what should you do instead? You should be specific. Look for keywords that have a good ranking that more specifically describe what you do. 
Is your real estate business in California? Do you specialize in condos or in family homes? How about Real Estate California Condos or Family Real Estate Cali? Make sure the phrases or words you are picking are actually searched for and do rank highly, but they don't have to be at the very top and make them as specific as possible as this way you'll be able to stand out and get found easier. Think about it. If customers are looking for a real estate property dealing in condos in California, that real estate company in Ohio isn't going to be on their radar if you've used the right targeted keywords. Otherwise, if you use a more general term, hundreds of thousands of other sites all using that term are going to bury you. People are going to have to wade through pages of search results to find you, and the chances of them doing that are very small. Market research has proven that most people typically only look at the first four pages of search results, and then only if they can't find what they need. Many are only looking at the first page. So, you need to optimize your SEO to make sure that when people use those specific terms to search for what they want, your site appears right at the top. Local CEO is crucial too. You also need to optimize your content for local search as this is becoming an ever more important part of any effective SEO strategy. As 43% of all people conducting Google searches are looking for a local brand or service, and 82% of smartphone shoppers conduct near me searches, it's vital your content is primed for local search. Optimize your title tags, ensuring you get specific. Generic title tags that don't mention your location won't help people searching for a local business to find your brand. As well as your title, you'll want to include local terms in your H1 and H2 tags. You'll also want to use relevant keywords that people are actually searching for. H1 and H2 tags are the HTML equivalent of the title and main header on your page and are extremely important when it comes to local SEO. Why? because they tell both Google and Google users that your page is specific to a local area, and they show that your page is relevant to a specific topic or niche. Semantic search is also vital when it comes to local SEO, as Google now ranks pages higher that have a natural array of related words, rather than many repetitive or unrelated keywords. So write as naturally as possible, incorporating phrases and words to your target keywords. Getting semantic search right will make a fundamental difference to your page rankings, so it definitely deserves your attention if you want to improve your local SEO. One final factor you should consider if you want to boost your local SEO is the creation of a community page. This is an extremely effective way to target all your local content. A community page could serve as a resource for the local community where people can regularly find important news and updates about local events. Alternatively, you could create a shopping portal where you link to other local brands and they link back to you. Define your unique selling point. When creating marketing content, your goal will be to sell or promote a product or a service. So you need to define your USP or unique selling point, something you offer that is different or better than your competitors. You don't wanna let people know you are just another garden supply store. You want to tell them that you offer same-day delivery or free seeds with every order. Or you want to highlight that your products are sourced organically or that you have a local-based business or have supplied products for a celebrity gardener, etc. The importance of social proof. Social proof helps you sell like no other and it is a crucial element you can use to enhance all your copy. It's a really useful persuader when customers who typically are overwhelmed with choice have to make a decision. People flock to the safe. They don't like to take risks, especially with their money. If you have been proven to be trusted by someone they have heard of, like a well-known brand, institution, or celebrity, you should always mention this in your promotional content, as it will help you sell more. Social proof doesn't always have to include mentioning a big name. It can be pointing out how many satisfied customers you have or even spotlighting individual customers who have had amazing results from your product or service. If you're struggling for signups, consider featuring positive customer testimonials in your content instead, but never be tempted to fake these, as people can always tell. Ida, the magic formula to creating compelling copy that sells. 
Ida is an extremely powerful formula that if followed will ensure your content is always primed to sell. It works in four stages to attract your customer's attention, interest them, and then make them desire what you are selling. The final stage is to make them take action, which usually means getting them to make a purchase or subscribe. You can use the IDA formula in most of your promotional copy, whether you are creating press releases, landing pages, email campaigns, or product ads. Let's look at the four stages in a little more detail. First, attract. Attracting customers is the first and most crucial step. There are many ways to attract customers using your content, but one important way is through your headers. With headlines, you need to grab people's attention from the off so they click through or keep reading on. Subheaders are also crucial to help break up blocks of text and add structure. So use them in your content, but be sure to make them exciting and relevant. A good header is provocative and presses people's buttons. It can make them excited, intrigued, or even angry. But one thing it should never do is be boring. So don't play it safe with your headers. Stand out by asking leading questions or promise value by offering to give people knowledge they have never had before. You should aim to charge your headers with emotional words like amazing, exceptional, terrible, horrible, but don't use too many and don't go overboard. The terrible truth about most skincare products is a powerfully emotive and intriguing header. As is, is your diet endangering your health? 10 ways to stop losing money on your Facebook ad spend is even better. As not only does everyone want to save money, you're giving people an incentive to click through and read your content by promising to give them a practical solution. Headers can be short or a little longer, but try to keep them as brief as possible while still being specific. Getting specific is critical. No one is going to click through if they are not sure what they are going to be reading. Time is precious, so you have to make people want to spend theirs reading your content by showing them what's in it for them. One way of making your headers more specific is by including numbers in them. 10 Crucial Diet Mistakes That Age You Faster is super specific, as it tells people that if they click through, they'll be able to find out what these potential 10 errors are. An industry survey conducted by Moz.com found that number headlines got 327% more click-throughs than question headlines. You won't be able to use them every time in every header you write, but you can supercharge your content by including them whenever possible. Use FOMO in your headers to attract more click-throughs. FOMO, or fear of missing out, is another great principle to use when writing your headlines. It works by tapping into a worry or common concern people have, making them want to find out more so they can either prevent or solve the problem. A headline like five ways you can guarantee your cat lives longer uses the FOMO principle. So does the number one cholesterol slashing ingredient. Are you getting enough? Interest. Once you've got people's attention, you need to move on to the second stage of IDA and keep their interest. This part of your copy is often called the lead and it is hugely important. Aim to keep your lead to a max of about eight sentences for optimum effect. One way of ensuring you keep people reading is by using intrigue, and you can do this by teasing that you have the solution to their problem or fear without telling them exactly what it is. Or you can create interest by sharing a short story about someone who used your product or service and got great results. Don't jump in straight away and hit them with the details of your product. If you're selling a diet supplement, for example, First, intrigue them by saying something like, excess weight can be hard to shift, but there is one ingredient that can jumpstart your metabolism. I'm going to tell you why you can shift that spare tire without spending an excessive amount of time at the gym or depriving yourself by including one easy to take supplement to your daily routine. You could start shedding pounds within weeks. This should intrigue them enough to carry on reading as you're hitting their hot buttons. They want to lose weight. They don't want to have to work out for hours or starve themselves. So you have them exactly where you want them, hooked to find out what this magic ingredient is. If you can then angle your copy to frame your product or service as the solution to their fear or the thing that will deliver them what they most desire, 
you will be able to benefit from the panic or intrigue you introduced with your FOMO headline. Imagine someone who's concerned about delaying the aging process clicking through on a headline like, Are you making your face age too quick? and then reading how there is a skincare product that can help them achieve what they want younger looking skin. They are going to be in a prime state to want to know exactly what that product is, which is how you want them for the next phase of the Ida formula. Desire. After you have attracted people with a great header and interested them enough so they want to keep reading, you need to make them desire what you are selling. To get people to want what you're offering, you can't simply talk about how great your product is. You need to show potential customers what's in it for them. The what's in it for them principle is another staple of copywriting as customers are focused on themselves and what they want. To demonstrate what's in it for your customers, always outline the benefits of your product or service in any copy you create. Show people how what you are offering will directly improve their lives or give them the results they are seeking. Never just outline your product or service features. No one really cares whether or not your product was created by the finest master craftsmen on the planet, but they do care if you can explain why this makes it 100 times more effective than any other product out there, as this gives them a reason to purchase. Once you have attracted customers with an engaging header, interested them by teasing that you have the solution to their problem, and made them desire by introducing your product and outlining the benefits, you still need to motivate them to take action. Action. This is the last stage of the IDA formula and will obviously be vital to the success of your brand. If you don't make sales, you can't stay in business, right? So you need to motivate readers of your content to buy or sign up. Most people are lazy and they have too much choice. They need to take an initiative in order to take action. This initiative could be a great deal, a limited time offer, or a product or service that gives them benefits or results they just can't get anywhere else. Let's say I want to sell an anti-aging face cream. I first attract people to read my content by creating an enticing headline. I then interest people by explaining that I have the solution to their fears about aging. Then I make them desire my product by outlining the great benefits they will experience using it having done my market research beforehand, so I know what benefits they actually want. Now I need to do the last part of the IDA formula, which is to get them to take action. One example of how I might do this is to say, in my call to action, get three bottles for the price of one when you click through to purchase in the next 60 minutes. Stocks are limited and these are going fast, so reserve yours now. Or I might say, Grab your first time customer 50% discount and get your first bottle for just $9.99. Hurry and purchase right now as this offer only applies for the next 24 hours. Both these calls to action have a sense of urgency and spur people to take action when you want them to, which is immediately. Always tell people the specific action you would like them to take and remind them why. Don't just say sign up now. Say, enter your email address and start receiving our tips and tricks straight away instead. This is the IDA formula I mentioned earlier. Attract, interest, desire, action. Ideally, you should also use FOMO, the fear of missing out, to super boost both your headline and your call to action. You should also use the what's in it for them principle in your header and whenever possible to make customers desire your product by highlighting how it will benefit them. Social media tips. The first rule of writing for social media sites like Facebook is to be brief. People have limited attention spans on social and often scroll past content. Always include a visual with your text content. As research from Bozomo found posts with an image got 2.3 times more engagement than posts without. Hashtag all your social content on Twitter and on Instagram too using relevant and preferably trending tags. You can research trending hashtags using tools like Hootsuite or look up the top tags on Twitter and Insta and add them to your post. Don't use hashtags for Facebook though, as these can have the opposite effect and make people more likely to scroll past or switch off. Instagram hashtags. 
Hashtags are crucial on Insta if you want to get more followers and improve your post's engagement rates. Posts on Instagram that use hashtags average 12.6% more engagement than posts without. Instagram allows you to use up to 30 hashtags on a post and a max of 10 on a story. Don't make the mistake of using just the most popular Instagram hashtags. It's better to use hashtags that are more niche with an engaged audience that's relevant to your industry. To find niche tags that have a high engagement rate, you should look and see what your competitors are using. It's also worth researching what hashtags your customers use to tag the topics they are interested in that would be relevant to your brand. There are three main types of Instagram hashtags you can use to get more followers and raise awareness of your brand. Community tags. Designed to connect Instagram users with an interest in a specific topic, community tags can be local or they can be more general. Hashtag black cats would be an example of a fairly niche but still general topic. Hashtag black cats in Bolton would be an example of a local specific niche topic. It's recommended you use both local specific tags and general tags to really max your posts engagement and chances of being discovered. Campaign hashtags, typically designed to promote a promotional period or event and run for a specific number of days, weeks, or months. Hashtag 12 days of Xmas sale would be an example of a tag like this for a company running a promotional festive campaign. Branded hashtags, these are used to connect followers of your brand and encourage them to share content. This helps others find out about you and is an especially effective way of demonstrating social proof and gaining new followers. Branded hashtags can feature your brand name or can be a promotional phrase you want to feature. If you had a sneaker company, for example, you could use your brand name as a tag or you could use a relevant phrase you created such as hashtag neon kicks for a campaign to promote the bright colors in your range. Check your branded hashtag regularly to keep track of what people are saying about your company. Observe your competitors. When you're on social, notice what works for customers and what doesn't. You can do this by researching your competitors. So look at ads for competing products on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Be sure to look out for complaints in the comments section that crop up over and over again. And if your product can address these, you can then emphasize this in your copy. You'll easily be able to win a slice of their action if your product can plug the holes in your rival's product or service by offering customers something that's superior. Super hacks to boost your Facebook ads. Facebook ads are particularly great for lead generation, remarketing, and advertising offers, especially local offers but will only be effective if they are constructed right. People buy products and services to solve a problem or to transform something about themselves or their lives. The secret to the most successful brands is their ability to make people feel good about themselves by purchasing their products. When writing your copy for your Facebook ads, always think about what brand image you are projecting and keep your copy consistent with your website tone and voice logo, etc. Make sure you know your audience by using Facebook Audience Insights to get aggregated information about the people connected to your page, as well as demographic information about Facebook users. This way, you can create content that connects and discovers more customers to market to, like the ones in your current audience. This is one of the best ways you can optimize your Facebook ad spend, as by targeting the right types of customers your results will be 10 times more effective. Eight excellent ways to create Facebook ad copy that converts. One, develop a strong brand image and you'll engage more people faster. Your brand identity will be key here. Does your company project an image of elegance, prestige, or is it ultra cool? Think about famous brands like Apple or Pepsi. What image do they project? How do they make their customers feel? Two. Focus on the solution. In your Facebook ad copy, always focus on the lifestyle or the personal transformation your product is offering or the problem your product or service will be solving. Three, use social proof. People don't typically trust Facebook ads and they will usually scroll past. So whenever you get the chance to demonstrate that others have had a positive experience using your product, do so. You can feature customer written testimonials, reviews, photos with a customer quote, 
or videos to achieve this, as long as they appear to be genuine. Four, use scarcity and the promise of deadlines to up the sense of urgency. A lot of people will delay making a purchase if they think an offer is going to run on forever, but many will click through to buy if you underscore the fact that they will only have a limited time to purchase at a lower price. Five, always use an image in your posts. Research has proven this increases your engagement rate by over 100%. You might also want to consider color choice in your image. Did you know yellow has been found to be more effective when used in Facebook ads than almost any other color? Six, make sure you have a killer headline and make it relevant to the customer group you're trying to target. After an image, this is the number one factor that will decide whether people keep reading your Facebook ad copy. Seven, be brief, but also be specific enough in your header so your audience can see the relevance. How you can improve your brand image and sell more is good. Five ways to brand boost and increase sales is better. Use the subheader to be even more descriptive and tell them exactly what they can expect, i.e., get my free sales boosting mini course when you enter your email address. Eight, consider using emojis to enhance your text, especially in your headers. It may seem counterintuitive if you're trying to appear professional, but emojis have been proven to attract more engagement on Facebook than plain text alone. Facebook lead generation ads that encourage signups. Get your header right. Outline what you're offering and use your subheader to be a bit more specific. Your subheader should ideally tell them more about the lead magnet you are offering. For example, your header could read 10,000 people to your page every day. Then your subheader could say, discover the secrets of unlimited traffic creation with our free mini course. In your body copy, it's a great idea to open with a question as this gets people thinking and adds interest. Remember the IDA formula? So if you were selling a course to help people boost their website traffic and wanted to get signups for your lead magnet mini course, you could say, is there an easy way to get a continual stream of web traffic to your page? Then you can tease that you have the solution to this question by saying something like, find out how you can attract thousands of ready to spend customers to your page every day with a simple formula used by advertising experts. Don't tell them what that formula is just yet. Tease a bit more by saying something like, this formula is so powerful, it can take your flagging brand and flip your profit stream around practically overnight. Then make them desire what you have by introducing it. Learn how to achieve more sales faster with my Secrets to Unlimited Traffic mini course. Then go into a strong and specific call to action that tells people precisely what to do and exactly what they are going to get if they take that action. For example, click through to sign up with your email address and get all my insider secrets totally free. Facebook remarketing ads that reel in customers. With these types of ads, it's a good idea to lead with social proof. Alternatively, you can use your lead to bust a common objection customers might have that would typically prevent them from purchasing. You can feature a testimonial to highlight social proof paired with a stock image that doesn't look as if it's been professionally shot to grab attention. Say you use a social proof header like, my business turned around practically overnight. You can use some emojis to make your header stand out. Maybe some stats or dollar signs would be appropriate here. Then use your subheader to outline that you can offer the same experience to your customers. We'll show you how to win more sales effortlessly. You can then go on to follow the rest of the IDA formula, teasing to add interest, and then introducing your service as the solution to incite desire. So for example, you could say, are your sales flagging? Tired of pouring money away on ads and promo, but not seeing any results? There is a solution. We can make customers come to you, pushing an endless stream of targeted customer traffic to your page. Make more sales than you've ever dreamed of and get the secret formula that will help you boost your sales and conversions. Then use a strong call to action that creates a sense of urgency, like, this course will only be available for a limited time at this price. Get lifetime access for just $9.99 when you click through to sign up in the next 24 hours. Facebook offer ads. These are ads that feature an offer or special discount. 
preferably one that runs for only a limited time. This is so you can create a sense of scarcity and encourage people to click through and act right now. Let's say you wanted to market a teeth whitening kit. In your header, you could say, get 25% off our teeth whitening kits this weekend only. Your subheader could make a claim that outlines a benefit or highlight social proof by saying, say, the number one rated whitening kit by beauty bloggers. Only make claims you can plausibly live up to, though. Otherwise, your ad copy will have the opposite effect you want it to have and will make you look untrustworthy. For the body copy, you could go on to add interest and hit customers' pain points by saying, yellow stained teeth or dingy looking mouth can severely impact people's perceptions of you. But most whitening toothpaste don't work and professional whitening is expensive. Then you can incite desire by introducing your product like this. Our handy use-at-home teeth whitening kits can brighten your smile by 100% in just one month. Using the most powerful, legally allowed ingredients out there, they'll make over your look so you can get the same sparkling white teeth the Hollywood celebrities have. Finally, you should use a call to action that plays on the sense of urgency you created in your header. Grab your kit today for just $29.99 in our weekend sale. But hurry and purchase now as stocks will sell out fast. The importance of video. Video is the most shared content medium and currently makes up over 80% of all content shared on the internet. If you pair it with your text copy by including it as part of a post or a blog article, it can be a great way to up your click-through rate. It's always a good idea to use it as your main image if you're going to do this, as more people are likely to click on video-related content than any other type of content. Another great way you can use video to turbocharge all your written content is to present your written content using animated video, captioned sideshows or stock footage, or by using a combination of visuals and voiceovers. And of course, don't forget the importance of optimizing your YouTube video descriptions. This is essential to getting found and for helping people to decide whether they want to watch till the end or not. Your YouTube descriptions should contain highly scoring keywords that are relevant to your topic, interwoven with a clear, specific description of what your video is all about. It's very important to specifically describe what people will learn if they watch your video, if you don't want to get bad reviews on YouTube. Some master copywriting tips. There are a few more tips you should remember when it comes to creating great copy everyone wants to read. Here are the five top tips you need to know to become a copywriting master. One, write short. Don't try and impress your readers with long words and sentences of complicated jargon or waffle. This will only make them do exactly what you don't want and will push them away. Speak to them in clear, upbeat, short sentences that are easy to digest. Two. Vary what you say and how you say it. Punctuate your copy with relevant, high-impact words and change up what you are saying. Don't keep repeating yourself or using the same words or phrases again and again as people will just switch off. Three, write like you talk. You need to sound relatable and your content needs to flow in order for people to engage. A great way to ensure your content hits these twin goals is to read everything you write out loud. If you do this, you will quickly hear if it doesn't sound right and will be able to assess whether it sounds like someone talking or not. Four, be exclusive. Don't play it safe and aim to be like everyone else. Show customers why you're different and better than your rivals. If people believe they can't get what you're selling anywhere else, you'll never want for customers again. Five, find out what your customers think. Speak to them in their language. Always appear to be on their side. So avoid coming across as too pushy. Instead, talk to them as a friend might, using trigger phrases and keywords they can relate to. I hope you enjoyed this guide to the fundamentals of great copywriting. Creating engaging content is a real passion of mine. And if you follow my advice and implement it in your own content, you should quickly see results. I've successfully used these techniques to supercharge marketing for so many brands. And now you've learned the fundamentals of copywriting. You can take this knowledge and build on it to rev up all your content, boost your conversion rate, and sell much more. We always aim to give our students the greatest value, and we keep this ethos firmly at the center of everything we do. We hope you feel we've met this standard in this video. And if you do, and you have the time, we'd love it if you'd be our hero and leave us an honest review. 
Taking this action would really mean everything to us and ensure we can keep bringing you even more great value content. Until next time, stay prosperous and thanks for watching. And thanks for watching. And thanks for watching. And thanks for watching.